What up, people? This is your boy, Jay Sean, and you are watching HipHopWired.com. Keep it right here. Peace. Recoming album. Yeah, man. Um, All or Nothing is an album which um, I've been, you know, I've been wanting to do for the longest time. It's the first time I've been doing music for seven years, writing and recording and touring, and it was the first time where I felt I had the freedom to do what what I wanted as an artist to kind of be like, you know, what this is the vibe I'm feeling with this producer and. This is the kind of song that I want out there reflecting me. Because at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not like one of those artists who just want to be famous or, you know, just whatever it is. And they'll sing any song just because it's a hit. And they're not really, even if they're not proud of it or, you know, if they, if they can't even stand the song. I know people who can't even stand the, own, the, the song that they sing, but they have to sing it because the record company says it's a hit. And I, I've never wanted to be that kind of artist. So this is an amazing album for me where I've, every song I'm proud of, every song I love, you know. And it's drawing influences from people that I used to listen to back in the day, all the huge R&B artists. But mixing that in with some of the British pop music that I grew up with, you know? And uh, speaking of British pop, how's that transition been from going up from over there to here? Because I know Craig David was huge over there. Yeah. When he came over here, he wasn't as big as a success. So, see it as a challenge? Right. I mean, the thing is, you know, um, you know, Craig, for example, I mean, it's funny when people say that, you know, I, he was a I, in my opinion, my humble opinion, I think he was a huge success. To sell two million albums in America, that's a big thing, you know, that's a big look. And, um, you know, as I said, he sold a lot of albums here in America, and uh, he was the first to kind of step here and try to do that, and it was very hard, I think, for, for people to kind of understand the vibe. Um, but ever since then, I think the one thing that has worked for me is being myself. And look, I'm not American, it's obvious. I'm not trying to, even not even going to try to put on an American accent. Who am I going to fool? If anything, you'll lose respect for doing that. I stay true to who I am. You know, I'm from a small little town in England. But as long as I just, I'm comfortable with who I am and I do me, I'm good. And, and like, you know, I ain't trying to be anything else. I'm proud of who I am, what I am. And, um, and I just feel like as long as I keep putting out music that I'm proud of and, um, and as long as there's people out there who are feeling it, I'm going to be good. I can't ever impress everybody. And I can't ever, uh, you know, expect the whole world to love the music that I'm doing. It's never going to happen. But as long as there's enough people out there who will, uh, you know, uh, like what I'm doing, then I'm good, man. So I don't put that kind of pressure on myself, you know. Is there uh, anybody else you work in, you're looking forward to working with outside of Cash Money? Yeah, I mean, I just did a song. My, my next single features Sean Paul and uh, Little John's on there as well. Um, and, uh, you know, for me, I'm a huge fan, um, uh, you know, both. And, and especially having that kind of mix. you got pop R&B, you got reggae, and you got hip-hop, you know, on one record. And that's kind of crazy. And there's another song that I've done um, outside of that. I mean, I've, done, I've collaborated with Craig David. I've collaborated with uh, Keisha from The Sugar Babes, who's a huge artist out in England. Um, and I'm working with, uh, hopefully going to be, you know, be, uh, we're trying to set up some writing sessions with a lot of other artists like Akon and Kerry Hilson and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the song you did with Little John. Man. Yeah, the song's called Do You Remember? And, um, you know, the whole vibe of this song is like, it's meant to be about um, remembering the good times in your life, whether it's the times that you grew up with your boys, hanging out, just being stupid, or, or whether it's the, the time that you have with someone that you love, you know, a girl from back in the day, or your family, or your brother, or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? It's about celebrating good times, and, and I kind of just, like, I'm a very positive person, and I wanted to put that kind of positive message out there, because I know that in this day and age, it's very easy to forget about small things which are important to you, and this is what this song's about. What up, people? This is your boy, Jay Sean, and you are watching HipHopWired.com. Keep it right here. Peace.